know what the doctor said. Keep drinking, you'll die. I just... I don't get it. You said you were pleased about this baby. You said you were over the moon. You have more to live for now than ever yet. <sighs> hey, hey, Peter. I meant what I said. You drink again, we won't be having this baby. I won't drink again, I promise. I wish it was that easy. Yeah, me too. I don't know, we've been married two minutes. <sighs> You're really trying to turn me into a widow? You're supposed to love me. I do love you. Oh, well, you love drink more. It's just no, as simple I as don't that. Well, you must to. do to get in this state again. <sighs> right. Rehab. I'll get you booked in as soon as. No, no, wait. I, I, I don't think I'm ready for that. Yes, well, I certainly am. You're going, mate. And you don't come back till you've got uh, this nailed. Look. Look. You clearly can't do this on your own, Peter. What choice do we have? I don't have any choice, I suppose. Whoever that is, just, just please, just tell them to get lost, OK? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. What did I just say? What is... Hey, love. I'll be a couple of hours tops. Uh, Steve was going to be keeping an eye on you. You got me a babysitter? Seriously? You let him fall off the wagon once. Do not let it happen again. Keep your eye on him. Let's go, son. You are hell-bent on humiliating me, aren't you? I am doing this because I care. I won't kiss you. You stink. I won't date anybody. <laughs> it might be good for you. Give you some confidence. Yeah, there's a bunch of pop over there later and I'll get Kel to talk you through it. She'll be there. Yeah. Oh, well, hi. Um, hey. How's Peter? <clears throat> my heart goes out to you. Uh, my Joe, he was an addict. Certainly takes its toll. I hope you're coping OK. Dave, can you do me a favour? Just name it. If he comes in here, ask him for booze. I'll show him the door. Thank you. Where is he? He's under house arrest. Steve's with him. It's like leaving the monkey in charge of the bananas, isn't it? Look, Carla, I, I, I don't know whether you're an idiot or an angel sticking by him. Oh, tell it like it is. I love him, what can I do? You love him, what? So you let him wreck your life? It's a blip, Rob, OK? He's gonna go to rehab, hopefully that'll get it sorted. Your idea or his? His. He wants to put this right. Oh, Carla, no one would blame you if you binned him, you know. Oh, you love that, wouldn't you? Look, you need me, you know where I am, right? Found some... Buttercup syrup in the cupboards. Distraction. That's what you need. Put a DVD on. I'm making all over. Steve, even my eyeballs hurt. What shall I call the doctor, do you think? What would be the point in that? He's not going to give me what I need, is he? What's the point in that? Oh, look, here you go. Fatal attraction. Now, I've not seen... But maybe not. Look, I only need a small one. Just almost medicinal. Leaving Las Vegas. Love Nicolas Cage. Between me and you, I've got a bit of a man crush. Is that the one about the hopeless alcoholic? Steve, please, come on. Steve, I, I only need a drop. Just take the edge off. Come on. Sorry, no can do. Yeah, but you can. Nobody's going to know. No, I can't. Oh, you're showing your true colours now. Won't help a mate in his hour of need. What, help him top himself? Yeah, OK. Sorry, all right. Oh, man. Oh. 
This one's perfect. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, not great, then. Pretty grim, really. Carla, how's our Peter? Um, a bit of a mess, to be honest. It's hitting pretty hard this time. Well, he's not getting any younger. The strain on his body must be horrendous. Yes, well, he's feeling pretty sorry for himself. Yeah, well, he's good at that, is our Peter. I'll give him your regards, shall I, Trace? How are you bearing up? Oh, I'm fine, you know me, I'll soldier on. It's tough on you, though. You're the one that's keeping him afloat. Oh, no pressure, then. Listen, if you want any support, a good moan, somebody to throw a strop at, I'm your woman. Thanks, Deirdre. Ah, poor old Peter, eh? His liver must be pickled. Fix his moments, I'll give him that. Just hope you're not taking on too much. What we're meant to do, leave him to his own devices. He won't last a year out. I meant you, in your condition. Now, listen, you should be sitting round with your feet up. It's turn to look after you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a dilemma, I tell you. You won't be in his shoes. Fleabag monkey face. Go away, speak to your husband. <clears throat> we didn't want to put anything on that was too heavy. Aren't the stories a bit complicated in this for you too? No, oh, very funny. Now your little wife is here, I think I'll... Do you want me to turn it off or do you want to see what happens in the end? Steve, can you not do a bit longer? Oh, for God's sake, Carla, I don't need a babysitter, please. Uh, I beg to differ. I, 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 I'm sorry, I've got I've got loads of things to do. I should get off. I've got a list as long as my arm. OK, well, thanks. Uh, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Bye, then. <clears throat> Hope you feel better soon, Peter. You have to be so rude. Why, what are you going to do? Ground me. Oh, sorry, already am. <sighs> Deirdre can't do it. She's looking after Simon this afternoon. Tracy, maybe. Carla, please. I'm in agony here, all right? I don't need anyone. I just, I want to be left alone. You know I can't do that. All I want to do is sleep, please. I just need a bit of peace. Hiya, teen love. Yeah, everything's fine. Well, actually, fine-ish. Listen, can you do me a favour? Sorry for the May Day. Is it Simon? No, the ten-year-old's absolutely fine. It's the 49-year-old Peter that's fallen off the wagon. Oh, are you joking? No, I'm not. Listen, I, I can't risk leaving him on his own. I'll only be a couple of hours. Are you right with that? Yeah, 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 of course. Um, what triggered it? I don't know. Epic fail of willpower. Timing really couldn't be worse. So is he sleeping it off? Yes, either that or sulking. I had Steve babysitting this morning. It's funny how he finds that humiliating, yet staggering home six sheets to the wind was absolutely fine. Are you okay? I have to be, don't I? There's only room for one full blown alky per household. I'm sorry. Okay, if he does surface, he's bound to beg for booze. Yeah, well, he's got no chance. He can be pretty persuasive. I mean, he looks at you with his big brown eyes. Pour me, pour me, pour me another drink. All that malarkey. Yeah, well, it's only tap water and tea on my watch. Thank you. You know, no one who knows him's going to serve him. Oh, really? Weather arms, lemon flag, just drinking straight out of the bottle in the gill. <laughs> Has he been okay otherwise? Yeah, I mean, we've... We've been playing. I don't know, Peter... Do... He just pushes the self-destruct button, Tina, and he's a selfish waste of space. Uh, correction, he's my selfish waste of space. But you know what? I just can't help feeling that every drink is weak off his life. And, you know. <coughs> Carla's our day. She said I'm a safe pair of hands. Oh. Is this because of us? 
Did it push you over the edge? You look like death won't help. How very dare you. So all right, permission to approach the tap. Don't. Go on, Tina. No. Nothing can do. Just go on. Look, I'll tell Carla I think you're packing. Peter, you're wasting your breath. Do you think there's anywhere else I want to be right now? Dentist having a root canal. It's got to be better than Alki Watch. And where I want to be, and where I should be. Look, I, just, I can't think about that stuff. Because all I want is a bottle of whiskey, or brandy, or vodka, anything. Why are you torturing yourself? A couple of bottles of nice, dry, white wine. Or red. I don't know. Slop trays at the Rovers, that'll do. You're being weird. <laughs> you think so? Mm. Tina, do yourself a favour. Look at me. You commit this to memory and get out while you can. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's because of me. No, love. But I know I came on pretty strong the other day. I just wanted you so much. I've brought this on myself. It's lifetime's work. No, you... You've been doing brilliantly for ages. I'm a car crash, okay? <sighs> Do not resuscitate. Peter, don't, don't say that, all right? You're ill. I love you. You pity me? No. No, I love you. Then your brain's even more messed up than my liver. You think that I'm a kid and that I can't handle it? No, I think you should get on with your own life. Come on, Tina, you don't want to be tied to somebody like me who's half unavailable, half cut. Oh, so you are planning to keep drinking, then? That's a genius idea, Peter. No, it's a disease, Tina. Yeah, a manageable one, which I've been managing until you and me. Look, I'll happily watch you around the clock, all right? I'd move to a desert island with you, Peter. A dry one. I'll do anything for you. If you mean that. Name it. Walk away. That's not fair. Tina, come on, please. We're playing a really long game, aren't we? One day we'll be together, but right now I'll, I'll take what I can get. Listen to yourself. Peter, when you leave a room, I lose interest. People are talking to me, their mouths are moving. But all I'm thinking is, when am I going to be with you, back in your arms? Peter, please, don't drink yourself to death. Come here. All that love is wasted on a fella like me. I can't switch it off. I can't take the pressure. You and me skulking about. The other day, on Monday, I got straight out of your bed, I went to the office, and I had nearly a whole bottle of whiskey, and do you know what? It never even touched the sights. I knew it. And rehab. Adjusting to life after rehab is gonna be a long haul. Uh, well, um, fine, fine, we'll be friends for a while. Friends without benefits, yeah. Do I get a choice? Walk away. I will hate it, but I will understand. Oh. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Right, Steve's going to take us to the station, so rehab. Yeah, yeah, Peter. Peter said. Better go and pack your naps at you. Yeah. I'm so sorry to drag you into this. Oh, don't be daft. Care. Yes, I know, and that's why I love you. You should be out. It's Friday night. 
With your mates having a laugh and a flirt. Yes. Oh, and no, I'll be all right for a bit. No, go, come on. <sighs> oh, Carla, no, you don't have to pay me, no. I know you don't want it, but you're having it. It was nothing. Listen, there are very few people I can ask to sit with him that won't drive him up the wall, so thank you. Get a lemonade on us. Yeah. Come on. Thank you so much. Now, you know your dad and me are rooting for you, don't you? Yeah, I know. Thanks. Now, there's some toffees in here and your Easter egg, and there's some chewing gum, a few stamps. Oh, and there's a safety pin and a threaded needle. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, losing the will. Why don't you just give it to the lady and wait? Right. Hey, listen, you, you try and explain to Sai for me, will you, then? It'll be fine. You just concentrate on getting back on track. Yeah, you come home soon, you big waste of space. <sighs> Thanks, Trace. Now, you listen to me. This is just a blip. Do you understand? Well, look after Carla for me. I know you will. Can't do a worse job than you. I'll, uh, I'll be watching you like a hawk when you get back, mate. Not just booze watch. Everything. Well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yuppie, aren't I lucky? Right, let's go. Come on, Stephen, step on it. Good luck. Tap. Did you get back? Um, last night I stayed a couple of nights by the rehab centre in case you know what, he did a bunk or something. And? Carla, how's our Peter? He ran off in the night, kicking and screaming. No, I'm joking, Deirdre. Look, by the time I left, he was more positive and I think it's been a wake-up call for him. I think, I think they'll get him sorted. Good. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on. OK, so how is he really? Miserable. You come for a brew? Oh, you know, I've got tons of work to do, so... It's Easter Monday. Exactly. Nobody will be in there, it'll be empty. You look knackered. That's cos I'm not allowed to have my three cups of black coffee anymore, isn't it? Well, you've allowed one small brew, so come on. Come on. ta -da! Look who I found on the doorstep. <sighs> Before you ask, he's in detox and nobody's allowed to contact him. I'm sure he'll sort himself out, love. Yeah, well, he has to. It's his last chance saloon. If the booze don't kill him, I will. <laughs> oh. Oh, Michelle. Oh, don't be daft. Oh. It's only another birthday. And quite frankly, one I'd rather forget. Open your prezzy. Go on. <sighs> OK. Now, this isn't a new tin opener, is it? Because, uh, could you know I was only joking when I said that's what I wanted? Steve. Chose it myself, Scouts, Hannah. Oh, it's beautiful. As are you. Mm. 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 Put kettle on, babe, will you? So, how are you feeling? I feel sick all of the time. It does get better. Why did you have to do this now? Oh, it's I. Listen to it, it's all gone to plan. Your dad's safe in rehab. You know what? I reckon he's going to be back to his old self in no time. Uh, listen, I was just wondering, would you be able to have him just for a couple of hours? We've got this massive booking at the bistro and he's supposed to be playing football, but the coach is ill and Deidre's busy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. I was like, um... As long as you don't mind hanging with me at the factory. There's nobody in, so you can make as much noise as you like. I'll even let you raid the biscuit tin. How's that? I'll say thanks. Thanks. Cheers, you're a lifesaver. I'll pick him up about four. Ah, that was my next question. Carla. He's pretty upset. Yeah, I don't blame him. Listen, if ever you need to talk, scream, cry, be in there. Late. I know, I'm sorry, I couldn't see I don't care what the excuse is, you're still late. Hi, Tina. Hi. What you got there? Nothing. 
Ah, uh, look. Mm, I love it, thank you. Mm. Ah, a present? Why is someone feeling guilty? <gasps> it's my birthday. Oh, oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't want to broadcast it, you know what I mean? Why? Well, because I was hoping that I might stay 29 for another couple of years. OK, well, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> hey, listen, how did Carla seem to you? I'm just thinking we should keep an eye on her. Yeah. How's, um, how's Peter, by the way? Well, he's in, but he's not allowed any contact. Mm. Maybe we should invite him on for tea. But she's not eating. Mm. Is she all right? What do you think? Maybe she should give her a ring. It'd be nice to know her mates are there for her. Yeah, I will. I'm going to go and change that barrel. And without being asked? Flipping heck, it must be my birthday. <laughs> Scythe, 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 scythe. Could you stop that, please? You said I could make as much noise as I liked. Yeah, yeah. Um, why don't you play on your Nintendo? I want to call me dad. You can't, sweetheart. Why not? Because he's not allowed to speak to anyone. Why? Because he has to concentrate on getting sober. I know we don't normally do sweets in the week, but... Well, it's Easter, innit? Don't try and fob me off his feet. I'm not fine. Well, I want some chocolate, so... You just don't want me to speak to him. Si, that's not true. I don't believe you. Oh, no, you're right not to. Because wicked stepmothers always lie. So do wicked real mothers. How's Peter? You know what? I feel like I'm in a placard made. He's in rehab. I'm not allowed to speak to him. Well, it's not surprising, Carla. Seeing you're the one who drove him back on the drink. Trace, not in front of the kid, yeah? Oh, he knows the truth. You're no fool, are you, babe? You know what? You can insult me, that's fine, but do not bring Simon into it. Carla. What? If I can do anything, just, just let me know, yeah? Try putting a muzzle on your girlfriend. Come on. Have you got a book? No. You're gonna make yourself sick. Can I have a drink? Yeah, of course, what do you want? Coffee. Coffee. You're not having coffee. Why not? OK. Coffee it is. If you don't like it, it's your fault. <laughs> it's nine. For an outside line. Well, go on then. Go and ring him. They'll just tell you he can't speak to you. Well, go on, Sai. <laughs> you want to be treated like an adult, start behaving like one. What, like you, you mean? Yeah. Should be you in rehab, not me, Dad. You're the one who's always drinking. I have not had a drink for 23 days, and you know, this binge of your dad's is not my fault. Yes, it is. Of course it is. If he wasn't married to you, he'd still be sober. You're the one who drove him to it. Do you think I want him drinking again? Do you? Do you think I like him coming in, stinking of booze? So wasted he can't even speak? Sad, do you think I like him lying to me, lying to you? Sneaking bottles of vodka under the sink? Is that what you think I married him for? Is it? Is this what you think I wanted? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Still Burley talking to me. Are you surprised? I don't know what to do. Well, Dennis, I can't help you. This one's on you. Safe, have we got a safe? Um, yes, it's in the cupboard above the sink. I'll go and get it. Ah, uh, how many times you're not allowed in the kitchen? But what if I want a brew? Then I'll make it. Hmm. And what if I... Want to empty the bin? No, I'll do it. Or, um, you know, clean the sink and the surfaces till they shine. <laughs> <laughs> Flash, she's in the cupboard under the sink, right below where the sieve is. Hooray. And if you need a hand for the you know. No, thanks. <laughs> Tina! Oh. Right, big man. What? We've been having a discussion about Peter. I think I was a little bit too honest. Look, say, si, I'm really sorry I shouldn't have said what I said, but I'm just upset like you are. Come in, go here. 
um, well, you're not old enough, mate. Look, come on. I'll take you home now. We'll, we'll get a film, we'll get pizza, we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Can you take me home? I don't want to be with you. Could you come on for a bit, just to settle in? No, she's working. Yeah, of course she can. Michelle? No. You go on. Thanks, Michelle. I'm so sorry about That's that. That's good. What's wrong with you? He's writing a letter to his dad. I told him to put all his feelings down. Why didn't I think of that? Because, Carla, you've got enough in your mind. Look, sit down. Let me make your cup of tea. Go on, sit down. Maybe Sai is right. What about? Maybe it's my fault. I just to build a life together, you know, something that matters, something that means something. But I always push men to the extremes, don't I? Liam, Tony and Frank, I mean, I'm like the, the black flaming widow. Don't be daft. No, there's something wrong with me, I mean. Bihala, now this is your fault. Well, whose is it then? What is it, Jane? Has he told you something? You would tell me if you knew something, wouldn't you? I know he talks to you. Um, Peter, he's got demons. You know he has. Yeah, demons push against an open door. I want to know what opened it, Tim. Actually, I think I already do. And I hope to God I'm wrong. What do you mean? I thought we were in it for the long haul. You know, I thought he loved me enough. He does love you, Carla. Oh, yeah. Yes, but Tina, he's also, he's terrified. He's scared of failing. When he's scared, he drinks. When he drinks, he feels like a failure again. It's just like an ongoing, vicious cycle that I thought you loved me enough to break. Maybe you can't. You can't love anybody enough to break it. Not his wife, not his son, not anyone. shouldn't be having this. Some people have a problem with food. Doesn't mean that the rest of us don't eat it. My dad was addicted to painkillers. I mean, I still take him when I've got a headache. I didn't know about you, Dad. Yeah, yeah. It's when, he, um, it's when he injured his back. He just couldn't get off him. And then when, obviously, when they wouldn't prescribe him, um, he broke into the medical centre, got arrested. Blimey. He had the same self-destruct button that Pete's got. Only it, it did destroy him. I've been on the brink a few times myself. The thing is, I get to the edge and go, whoa, Peter, he's able to jump right in head first. You know, the doctor said if he carries on drinking, he will die. You keep saying that like you want it to happen. Simon, of course I don't. Yeah, that's a stupid thing to say. Why are you on her side? Because Carla is just as upset as you are. You, you should be supporting her. Not having a go. Oh, Sai. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, thanks for minding him. Everything okay? Yeah, well, we had a little hiccup, but I think we're all right now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm just here for moral support. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a wimp. Sai, do you want to go and get your stuff, sweetheart?
We had an argument because he wanted to call his dad, and I, I'm so sorry if he upset him. Oh, it's all right. It's Peter who's upset him, not you. Oh, I could wring his flaming neck. Yep, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Chippy tea? Come on, then. I know it was my dad's fault. Come on. You took time, didn't you? Oh, well, Simon needed it. So did I, so... Do you know, you're an absolute natural with that little lad. Yes, she is. Well, he's lucky to have you whilst Peter's uh, incapacitated. Bye, Scott Leanne. And Carlos. Well, it's a shame you're not as good a barmaid as you are a nanny. Sorry, what are you having? No, I'll get you one. No, you won't, because she's working. So? Oh, lighten up, Steve. Yeah, lighten up, Steve. I'll have a body and coke, please. Right, you are. You know what, can I just have a water for now and let this? Hey, Steve. You've been plastering, mate. Um, uh, baking. It's very trendy now, you know, making cakes. It's the new, um, football. That right? Yeah. Mm. You smell something. Steve, darling, something's burning in the kitchen. <laughs> what could I get you? Um, same again for them, and I'll have a whiskey. Maria, look, don't be drinking your problems away. I didn't come here for a lecture. All right, I'll bring more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Surprise! It didn't exactly turn out how it's supposed to. I love you. Mm. Hang on, you haven't tasted it yet. <laughs> Don't forget to make a wish. Okay. Oh. Well, I thought that counts, Steve, eh? <laughs> yeah, it is, actually, but you wouldn't know about that, would you? Because you don't think about anybody else, do you? You just think about yourself. What? Steve? She's just been looking after Sai today. I've been crying on her shoulder. My heart bleeds. What the hell was that about? I have no idea. I'm going to find out. Apart with Tina? Hey? What's she done? And it's more than insult your impression of Mary Berry. Paul Hollywood, Hudson. Steve. Well? She... She's lazy. She makes any excuse to leave the bar. She's late, she's sloppy, she's moody. Steve, she has been helping Peter and Carla with Simon. <laughs> Is there something else going on with you? Because you've been weird all week. You're not having a midlife crisis or something, are you? No. Because you're not even 40, so if it's only going to get worse... Look, I don't like people taking the mick. Tina's taking the mick. Do you know what? You're having a go at her, but you're the one that's being selfish. Me? Yes, you. Our best friends are in meltdown. We're all trying to help, and you're moaning on about Tina being sloppy behind the bar. Get your priorities straight, Steve. I know. Right, you and Peter. I wish I didn't, but I do. I'm watching you cozying up to Carla like Mary flipping poppins. He's doing my head in. How'd you know? He told me. Just like that? Needed someone to talk to. I mean, how can you look after Simon? How can you look Carla in the face? Well, I have tried to stop it. We both have. Yeah, really hard. Well, has it occurred to you that we might actually have feelings for each other? He's got feelings for a bottle of wine he can't have. Oh, you don't know anything, Steve. I know he loves Carla. Yeah, and he loves me. Oh, he's told you this, has he? Yes. Yeah, and I love him. <sighs> well, then I feel sorry for you. Because this isn't going to end happily. Especially where you're concerned. Why, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to tell Carla? I should have told her ages ago. Why didn't you? Because I thought maybe it's better she doesn't know. 
I thought maybe it'd all go away and Pete would realise how stupid he's been. Right, and I'd just fade into the background and disappear. Something like that, yeah. What are you going to tell her now? Steve! I just thought. Cool, isn't it? What, well, the hairdryer? Well, yeah, my one packed in. You know what I'm like about me, huh? I hope you don't buy it off them rubbers. These are 60 quid in the shops. Do you know how much I've just paid? Yeah, well, I hope you tested it. It works first. Of course. It's got a turbo setting, you know. This is going to take minutes of my morning routine. What's up with you, anyway? We'll probably conk out in a few days. And they won't give you your money back. I mean, the rip-off merchants. Well, we'll see, won't we? Right, mm. see you later after work. All right, see you. Are you on your own? Not for long. Right, well, I need to talk to you. It doesn't taste right to me, this gets bitter. Well, I've been awake all night worrying about, well, you know, and I gathered you haven't said anything, because I had Carla hammering my door down. I haven't said anything. Thanks. Look. This isn't easy for me, you know. I wish I didn't know any of this. In fact, I'd love not to know any of this. If I could wipe my brain clean, then I would. It tastes metallic of this. Steve, I need to know what you're going to do. I don't want to talk about it. The subject is closed. Is it going to stay closed? Well, I can't promise that. Steve. Listen, I might be able to wrap Peter around your little finger, but not me. Right. Have you changed that barrel, then? Yeah. Morning, Tina. Morning. Is he being nicer to you today? Yeah, well... Steve's always nice to me. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so only worried about Peter, aren't you? Mm. Um, what's that new ale like then? It leaves a nasty taste in your mouth. Mm. Right. Well, I suppose I better go and mop the loose. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, ta love. Okay, I'm off for a ciggy. We really do need to get a cleaner, don't we? I'm on it. Babe. Um. It's only PT you're worried about, isn't it? Yeah. Which just because, you know, if there's anything else on your mind, you know, you can talk to me, don't you? Yeah. Is Michelle about? She put Amy to bed. Only it's dead in there and Liz said can go home. Fine by me. You prefer if it didn't come in at all tomorrow. Right, enough. Close the door. I don't want to hear any more. Your secret's safe. Well, that's not because of anything you've said or because I condone what you've done. It's because if Michelle finds out I knew and didn't say anything, she got ballistic. That's how moral I am. Anything for an easier life. Thanks. But the truth will come out eventually. Always does. still hasn't paid up in full. Neither is her mother. Well, you know what they say? Don't make the pledge if you haven't got the wedge. Is that a saying? And it's McIntyre, not Platt. Is anyone actually doing this 5K? What 5K is this, then? Round the park, week after next. I'm considering it. Well, I'm going to walk it, if that's possible. What about you, Mrs Barlow? <laughs> Running round the park? I don't think that's for me, you know. Do you do any exercise? Blue bits and pieces, you know what I mean? We do know what you mean, Mrs B. Nice little bit of blue there from the box. Oh, I am sick of totting this up. Can someone else play a banker? Oh, why are you looking at me? Whatever well, we make on the run, we can add it to the pot. Does this mean I've got to chase up Gail? Well, Gail owes five pounds for raffle tickets and Audrey owes three pounds. Julie, can you put that away till playtime, please? Fizzy, they are gorgeous. Sean, give me. What am I supposed to say to them? Congratulations. Look, I know that you're having a bit of a rough time with Peter. Right. And, uh, well, I just thought a nice surprise might cheer you up. So you getting married to Tracy is meant to be some kind of act of kindness towards me, is it? I thought I might spread the love, all right? And you do love it? Look, the cynical old nut has been cracked. Right, well, you know what? I think he's lost the plot. Life's too short, so if you want to be tied to that demonic freak show for the rest of your days, then... Fill your boots. I'm touched. You must be. <laughs> Ooh, 
thank you. I feel as if I should make a speech. Should I make a speech? Oh, maybe not, did. Oh, I'm sorry, Carla. Did you want to? Oh, no, no. I might just maybe save it for the wedding, you oh, know. Oh, OK, then. Hey, I'm toying with a peplum, by the way. Are you really? Good luck with that. You know what? The champagne is dead nice, Mum. It's a pity they don't do it in red, isn't it, Carla? I'm a bit just thinking about it, did. So, Michelle, do you fancy joining us for a glass? Never turned down a freebie? No. I can tell that by your dress. Oh, I'm only joking, babe. Come on. Oh, she's brought a glass over just in case. Are you having one, Carla? No, I've actually got a bit of a head. I get those. Oh, we just thought it, eh? Well, I think they're quite common, eh, Dave? No, not the headache, <laughs> did you? I mean, these oh. <laughs> A year ago, they had nothing. And now they've got it all. They have, indeed. Right, kids, cheers. 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 What's going on? Tracy's getting married. You kidding? No. I'm quite giddy about it. They want me to make a speech. Hey, smile, Steve. We'll be family soon, won't we? How soon? And then I'll be Amy's stepdad. And I'll, I'll be cool with that, mate. Do you know what I mean? But a stepdad's not the same as a real dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. So, uh, what colour are you wearing for the wedding, Carla? I don't know. Only I'm considering puce. Oh, I don't like puce. I had my colours done once. I suit puce. Yeah. Hey, we need to tell Auntie Emily. No, I don't think she's that interested in fashion. No, about the <laughs> fact that we're getting married. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cut up about it. And, of course, now he thinks it's all his fault. Well, hopefully he'll be back soon, propping up at the bar. Mm. Yeah. Do you know... Fifteen quid I've just paid for these. Is Shell about? Oh, uh, no, no, the visiting Lloyd. Oh, oh Lloyd? Oh, I meant some flowers. That, any news? Oh, well, it's not like you've got no else in your mind, is it? How is Peter? Oh, uh, you know what? I wish people would stop asking me that. Sorry, I just... No, not Tina, not you. I just mean... Uh, well, how am I even meant to know that, you know? The thing about addicts is they lie like normal people breathe. Yeah, but where he is, I mean, the professionals. They must know how he's doing. Yeah, till they let him out. The team, it's like you break a leg, they patch you up, they send you home, and for a while you, you're more careful, aren't you? You, you avoid the icy patches and the banana skins. But essentially you're fixed. People like Peter, he can't just get fixed. You know, so you've got to take one day at a time and pray to God. At the end of that day, there's not been another cock-up. I must really love him. Yes, I do. I love him and I hate him. So, tomorrow should be interesting. Tomorrow? Let's send him on tomorrow. Fixed or not. A new world record for the longest five-minute break in history. Is she gone? Look, Liz, I promise I'll do my time, all right? Hey, you trying to swerve me? <laughs> oh, no. how did you do that? Because I was a massive narc earlier. Oh, well, don't be silly, all right? I try not to unload it all on the shelves, so I keep it in and sometimes... Like I said, don't be silly. You know, well, thanks anyway, it helped. Tell the truth once. I'm not sure anybody really gets how ill Peter is. How do you mean? If he carries on drinking, that, that could be it. Peter just drinks to block out the sound of his own mind. You know, he, he drinks because of work, me, Simon... His instinct is just to drown it all in scotch and... Tina, how do I shield somebody from stress for the rest of their life? I mean... Uh, wrap them in bubble wrap, looking down the cellar. Probably one that's got no wine in it. Sorry, I didn't realise it was, you know, so serious. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm doing it. I shouldn't have said anything. So. Did you just... Through that. You're still in love with him. It's all my fault, isn't it? You would, eh? Huh? All the stress, all the confusion. Don't. Liz, I pushed him too far. Don't blame yourself. What if he dies, Liz? He won't. Oh, it... Yeah, he's got a rough road ahead of him, but he'll get through it. Do you think so? I know so. 
Took me down a peg or two, I'll tell you that. Right down. So they could build you back up? Yeah. But, hey, it's worked. We'll soon see. Pub, bistro, off lessons. But I've got more to live for now. Yes, feel. I mean, we, we talked about that. You know, how to make it a goal. It's not a pressure. How to be the man, not the child. All the same. Relapse now, it... West home is best. What does that make me? A good witch of the north. Mm -hmm. well, if he does, he's our scarecrow. I need to get him back in, feed him up. Yeah, we do that. Okay, see you. All right, see you later. Yeah, they seem dead happy. Yeah, well, I suppose we should celebrate it. Save two people from a lifetime of misery with the. Peter, Rob were dead good to me, you know, when you were... When I was away. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you want to do tonight, then? Do you want to have a quiet night in, you know, maybe get a takeaway, or... Hey, maybe you've saved him too much. Maybe we could go into town and see a film. Or... No, I'm not bothered, look. Is, is that it? Is that all there is? Yeah, well, what were you expecting? No, 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 nothing. You know, but I... A card or a picture, or, or maybe even a text message would have been nice. Oh, from Simon? Yes. Yeah. He wouldn't want to send a card through the post, would he? He'd want to bring it to you and see your face light up when he opened it. Yeah? Yeah. I bet he doesn't even know you're back. I will ring Leanne and see if she can bring him straight from school. How's that? Ah, first smile all day. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Wait, did I dazzle you? What, with your wit and repartee? Uh, no, with my fiancé's generosity. 6.50, please. You see, the thing I found out about diamonds is they aren't actually a girl's best friend. But you have to own some, you know, to realise that. Crocodile or python? You are. If a crocodile was to have a fight with a python, who do you think would win? Well, that's easy, isn't it, the croc? Wrong. Oh, get lost. I'm serious, I've got a picture here to prove it. But those pearly white teeth, I mean, they're deadly. They're useless. She wraps her body around him and drowns him into submission and then... And then let me guess. Swallows him whole, head first. Yeah, how did you know that? Hey. I didn't take a tip. Oh, well, here's a tip. Never buy a mermaid tights. <laughs> See, Pete is back. Stop all the clocks. So, um, what's the plan for him? Well, have you been mad to see him? Too busy. You? We never stop. Says the man at the bar. What, is the shop short, is it? As it happens, my mum is man in the till. We've just got back from a networking seminar in Bolton. Mm, fascinating. Mm, lots of sweaty blokes in nylon suits. We left, actually. I had to show Rob some um, potential venues, you know, for our engagement party. <laughs> the Rovers. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too big, I suppose, for your friend. I mean, the phone box on Rosamond Street's available. <laughs> OK, push the door. Hey, miss you, fella. It's Friday. It's Scouts. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not coming. Sorry. See, she's empty-handed. It's not even a picture for me. I don't blame him. What does he get when he comes here? Pathetic apologies. Empty promises, bribes. No. I'm glad he's seen sense. Good on him for not showing his face. Oh, come on, Peter. Don't say that. No, it's true. Look, Peter, he'll get over it, OK? He doesn't know how much he's hurting you. Just tell him that I don't blame him. It's what I deserve. Take it that smile because your dad's back. 
what I've said to it wrong. Oh, he's refusing to see him. Why? He's probably drunk. Simon, you know very well that's not true. Look, he is trying, you know. That's why he went into rehab. Don't want to talk about it. Look, I know how you feel, all right? My dad used to drive me mad. And you know, once, I didn't speak to him for a fortnight. Really? Mm-hmm. You know what? What? Now that he's gone, I'll give anything for that fortnight back. So we can chat and I'll laugh at his rubbish jokes and tell him how much I love him. Well, I'll come with you if you like. Hello. Really? Oh, that's brilliant. Come up. Hey, Sai's here. Oh. Hey, baby, it's not going to be such a bad day after all. Hey, Pa. <laughs> He's only here because Tina said she'd come. Oh, 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 thanks. Hey, <laughs> this is nice, huh? Are you kidding me? Look, I know that I've let you down. But I promise I'm going to really try from now on, OK? I always say that. Yeah, I know. But that's all I can do. Just keep trying. I could promise you that I'll stay sober from now on, but I'd be lying. I'm an alcoholic. And it's an illness. A part of the cure is accepting that it's always there, always hanging over me. Can we go now? Simon, listen to me. I don't want to. No, it's... It's OK. Maybe he just needs a bit more time, yeah? Could we go? Yeah, come on. Are you OK? Sorry, stupid question. I don't blame him. I, I don't blame him for hating me. Oh, Peter, he doesn't hate you. He's confused. <laughs> Simon gone? Yeah, he couldn't wait to get away from me. I'm really sorry. There's something kicking off at the factory and I've got to go. I know it's bad timing. No, it's OK, love. I don't want to leave you on your own. But I don't have to rush off, so... Really? OK, well, I, I won't be long, I promise, OK? Back as soon as I can, OK? You'd be better off without me. Maybe I should just admit it. Peter, that's rubbish. You're a great dad. We both know that's not true. All you can do is, like you said, keep on trying. Look, Simon needs you. All right, he pretends that he doesn't. That's the worst thing you can do is give up. Keep talking. That's what I need to hear. Hello. Hey. Carla, let me in. So, how are you? You look dreadful. Oh, thanks. Hello, Tina. How you doing? So, come on, then. Where's my hug? Oh. Sorry, Deirdre, I'm, I'm not very good company at the moment. Oh, 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 tell me something I don't know. Like father, like son. I'll go and put the kettle on. Oh, jammy dodgers. Is this true? Yeah. I was going to put it back, I swear. And you think that makes it OK? No. Good. At least we agree on something. She was only borrowing it. It's not like she was stealing. Don't defend her. She's not Beth. Sinead's right. She must have had a good reason. When I want your opinions, I'll ask for them. We all trusted you with that money. I know. It was for charity. It was for Hayley. What's Roy going to think? I'm sorry. I'll pay it back somehow, I promise. Yeah, too right you will. Go on, get out of my sight. I'm a sack. I don't know yet, Izzy. I just can't bear to look at you now. Get out. Thanks for coming. Bye. <sighs> I'll tell you what. There's nothing more likely to turn me to drink than being stuck in a room with Deirdre. <laughs> well, rather it was her to blame than me. What do you mean? I, I can't help feeling 
that this is all my fault, why you ended up in rehab. No, no, no. No, Peter, don't if I want to put pressure on you. Well, I won't be making any more demands. All I want is for you to get better, okay? Okay. So forget about us and just concentrate on that from now on. I'll, I'll try. Hey, I'm sorry. Those flipping women. You can't leave them on their own for ten minutes. Um, I'll get off. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, listen, listen thank, thanks for trying with Simon. I appreciate that. I'm just sorry you didn't work out better. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Tina. Oh, you won't believe what happened. Do you want a cup of... No, no, I don't. I'm swimming in this stuff. Oh. Izzy Armstrong's only gone and helped herself to the charity money. Has she? Yeah. You're not shocked? I'm shocked. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I suppose so. Sorry. Sorry is me banging on. You, you don't need that. Listen. From now on, you are my priority now, OK? Yeah. Hey, if you remembered, it's a scan tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yes, scan. I'm a bit nervous. Ah, I'll be fine. Will the baby be fine, though? I mean, I'm not exactly a spring chicken, am I? And there's lots of things that could go wrong. Well, they won't, love. Not until it meets me, anyway. Oh, don't be daft. No, I'm not being daft. Been a lousy dad so far, haven't I? Why don't you ask Sign? You are a brilliant dad. You're kind and you're loving. You're selfish, drunk. Not now. Now you're sober. And you're gonna stay that way. Aren't you? Of course, yes. I promise. <laughs>